All right, so I'm sitting in between uh, move that out of the way, the 6000 6, XP and the 18K. The fans just kicked on the 18K. I don't know if you can hear them. Okay, let me get closer. So, fans about six, eight inches away. It's on low, so the fan on low, that is. And then, fan about six inches away here. Anyway, that's your noise. Um, and the screen, here's your screen. So up here you're going to have your firmware, CCAA 1408, 09, and I think a serial number. Here you're going to have all your data, happy, smiley face. And you're going to have your ups, your output here. So 3K, 3.7 in, 2.9 out. See, it's only one leg, so 0% of that leg. and 97% on this leg. So I'm using the inverter only half at basically 3,000 watts on one leg while the other leg is completely unused. All right, so in the, the 3K single leg, what I was doing to get the power up that high is I was running my RV air conditioner, my RV, uh, what is it, like an eight gallon? Anyway, hot water tank, and I was running the refrigerator. So that's like 300 watts. Up there was like f between 1100 to 1300, and the hot water tank uh, usually poles are in around 1500 watts. So all three of those combined was pushing pretty close to 3000 watts. And this is just a 30 amp RV. Now obviously if I would start the microwave, it would have popped the fuse. Or actually it would overload at the inverter would shut down after five seconds so it'll take an overload for up to five seconds so if your overload exceeds five seconds it'll shut off an example of a, a overload that won't shut it off would be my air conditioner starting and while the hot water tank is running so the 1500 watts the air conditioner will end up pulling there's no soft start on it. so it'll pull 2500 2700 watts for a second a few seconds and then it'll It'll drop back down to a thousand. I'll see if I can get that on a picture or a video um, where it'll overload the inverter, but it'll end up dying back down before the five seconds is up.